Yeah. He's you know, fresh with some Meepo games. I am going to investigate the new player. It is rare that you see a player a stand in swap mid series. Um, but yeah, this guy is rank 70, supposedly. Okay. No idea. Might who be he the is. real player, though. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, wait. Is this. Wait. Yeah. He, oh, he used to play Winter Bear 14 days ago. Is this just. Okay, Pastil? so it's stuck. Yeah, it's Pastil's back. So the stand in was only for game one. All right. So we just got out of bed late, is what I'm. Yeah, what yeah. I'm okay, feeling. okay, cool. All right. In that case, yeah. Winter bears don't have a stand in anymore, guys. Woo, in, real yeah. series. Now the series begins. Yeah. Yes. Nice little dodge out there from Cashal, honestly, standing on the high ground, sees him coming, doesn't get caught by the axes. You're not exactly going to stand your ground there against all those heroes, but. Uh... If he stood where most people would stand, then he would have got caught by the Whirling Axes and probably died, so... He was very, very cautious by himself. Meanwhile, the rest of Winter Bear is waiting over on the top side of the river. I don't think there's going to be any shenanigans coming out to anywhere, steal bounties from each other. I imagine this is just two for two, so... We can start talking about these lanes. I mean, middle lane? We're expecting a, uh, a smell wash again? Hmm... Don't think so. DK is not the hero that really applies the pressure in that regard. He might get some additional denies, but shouldn't be anything too crazy. Put Link a chow. Having to level stun. Trying to disengage. Has three yeah. sticks, but another blood. Not going to be able to do yeah. so. Miracle has the uh, Whirling Axes leveled. <laughs> Pretty short cooldown on that one as well. And with uh, actually a little Shredder level one coming out from Matthew as well. This is felt it just feels like it does so much damage though. So good for trading. Yeah, so it does take away three armor at max level. He might regret not having some cookie or something right now. I well, can turn around to Stoic and uh, try and get off a bit of the damage which he's just taken. I mean, Stoic, of course, doing a lot of work with that battery assault, but now it will turn a bit of that damage back to him as uh, Reality and Stoic get off to a very messy start to the lane. You'll yeah, this... mid. It's uh... in the old Meepo vs DK matchup. I think this is going to be... DK can get some early denies on Meepo. Meepo gets his second uh, clone at level 4 and then... He probably should just be a little bit more efficient in his ability to push out lane and go jungle. But knowing that it is still back in the game with Meepo does give me a little bit more hope for Winter Bears compared to... If their stand-in player was trying to play it, that's where it's a little bit more confusing. Um, maybe um, Nigma didn't know he was back and didn't ban the Meepo. And they're like, oh, the main Damn guy's it. back again. Oh, what The Meepo guy. They snuck him back in through the back door. <laughs> but no, so far, once again, Nigma are just leading in CS. It's happened now two games in a row. All three of their cores are... Heading to 10 CS whilst uh, Arc Warden only has two to his name. Yeah, he's he is... not really getting looking in this top lane, I'll be honest. No. And it's not as if Radiant have a lot of denies either, right? It's four denies combined, and there's been what, like four waves so far? So it's just Miss CSing coming out from this, uh, this Arc Warden. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, ooh, Miracle getting a kill down to the bottom side. They are able to run down Kachal. Of course, very, very kill-heavy lane down here. Oracle plus Troll Warlord does not mess around. They've got so much damage to offer and so much catch as well. Top side, not going for the play on to FBC, but of course they got the cookie to just get the tr uh, Centaur out of those cogs. And again, just seeing, like, what a one-sided lane this is going to be. Oof. The Clockwork is an incredible laner at... I'm kind of amplifying ranged heroes. He is the body that sits up front, soaks up the damage, but this snapfire just, yeah, fully disjoints that. The cookie is, you know, kind of game ruining for the clockwork. And uh, if anything, Winter Bears just need to be a little bit more efficient on their farm. Respect the fact that they won't be killing like they should do in other lanes and uh, ensure Arc Warden can get kills. Stoic does go for the Lotus. Ooh, if you're a little geez. bit late with the cookie. And now they might be able to go, right? Cookie's on cooldown. He has a Lotus and a Fairy and 11 Wand. He's very... Ooh. Stoic. No stick available. Three charges if he can get them off. FPZ Mile moving to the tree line. Just going for the TP back to the tower. Doesn't want to have to run past the Arc Warden again. So he's going to make it out. And in fact, nobody <laughs> dropping. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, by the way, uh, most dog wanted. 
just uh, split the meepos and got both water moves off Samael. Now, admittedly, Samael doesn't have a bottle, so he's, he's not crying yeah. about it, but... No. Oh, Sanking's dead again. Three deaths. Yeah. Sanking is probably one of the most volatile heroes. Also, by the way, uh, I apologize. I, I mentioned Snapfire's inventory, not Clockworks. I got a little bit baited there for a second, but, you know, still Clock. Survive top lane yeah, anyway. Uh, getting run down. Trying to make his way through oh, the dead. tree line. Not going to happen. Yeah. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. And it will be a kill going towards the Radiant side. Nick will pick up another one. And yeah, this it's, is um, it's it's just looking very bad whittling. to get up at the top side. Yeah. It's just like good teams will always just whittle down your resources, right? Like yeah. FUZ just exists in the lane. If you make a blunder, I'm here to press you. Same thing in bot lane. The Sand King, three deaths to his name. Sand King is a very volatile offlaner where he either gets early level Sandstorm, you never kick him out, or... He dies three, four times, absolute despair. You're praying you get a blink dagger and a kill, right? And we're currently yeah. looking at that second option. Like, you don't play stable games. And that's why you don't see Sanking as often as heroes like Centaur. Just because of how, yeah, how unstable you are. Four and oh, two Nigma, and uh, yeah. I think Meepo should be the saving grace, though, for Winter Bears. It's when he picks yeah, up the Diffusal Blade, so. try and find moves on the map. Yeah, I want to see it, and, you know, even Smell just kind of standing his ground against the Meepos here and uh, continuing to just attack. And now Kuro comes in as well, throws down the root. It won't be enough, though, to bring down most Dog. Dog gets away. Oh, he's going and, back in. Uh, oh, he's coming back Ooh. in, yo. <laughs> Played a risky game there. Wanted the damage from the Poof. Almost gets himself killed. And honestly, I think they might have just been a little slow. Oh, they don't have mana. Never mind. No, yeah. The, uh, no, I think that's why Meepo did either. go back in, right? He saw yeah, the Oracle saw didn't it. have mana. And of course, we might go in for the 113 build. It's not as if there's going to be some burst of uh, dual breath damage coming out. So, yeah, okay. Liking the fact that Meepo's doing this. And now, through this rotation mid, Miracle's by himself. Kuroki isn't there to hold Miracle's hand anymore. They utilize the Twin Gates and they finally get a kill. So, yeah, yeah Meepo. That's going to be some real pressure coming out this tower. I mean, you've got a catapult plus a Pugna. Just blasting away at this bottom oh, tower. Arc like, Warden. it's gonna take no. damage. Dark Warden getting run down as well. Yeah, you move that support across, and uh, you can't really step up on this arc, especially not against a Snapfire and a Centaur. They're gonna make short work of you. So, lesson learned there for the Arc Warden. We'll have to go back to the fountain. And the game continues to feel in this kind of awkward state right now where all eyes are really on Meepo. Yeah, Dota is a game where all players need to be in harmony, right? As soon as one person steps up, another guy has to step back, right? And it kind of didn't happen here. You've got Arc Warden dying top. You then had you know, Troll. He did get Dove bottom, so it doesn't really count. But Winter Bears, they need to make sure they aren't overstepping their marks when they rotate. I like the fact they are making these moves, but yeah, you just can't be dying like this. And you now Sumo hit six in the mid lane with this uh, Dragon Form. It will kind of keep a little bit of pressure on Meepo, where if Meepo wants to fully AFK jungle to get Diffusal, he will just lose his mid tower. So yeah. you know, kind of like this Meepo's like, ah, do I do I defend mid? Do I jungle? Do I call supports mid? It's a couple more questions getting uh, kind of given to the Meepo that he doesn't like to uh, answer so early on. Rotation up to top side is looking to help secure the wisdom rune here with Matthew, and uh, Stoic may well be a victim. There comes the little shredder coming Denied, through. Maybe? The damage, the anti armor. So now just trying to run him down. I mean, it might not get him here. It's a nice top oh. position for the cogs and. Hey, Stoic. Is he juking himself? Uh, is no, because FBZ well. is coming from the other way, so he's actually making the right play here, but he's going for the deny, which is going to take way too long. And they're just going to wait for it. Matthew's able to easily pick that one up. Smell comes back in just for the XP. And, uh, I mean, still made a decent amount of space for that, honestly. Like, Smell spent way too long doing that and didn't even get the kill in the end either, so... No. Then it buys a little bit more time because DK isn't just hitting that mid tower like i expected he obviously went for the rune so meepo got some time to farm you've got a little bit of just a moment to think for winter bears and when i say that it's not as if nigma are like breaking the map it's just more one wrong top tp one wrong placement of your heroes and suddenly like arc dies again or meepo gets run out in the jungle it's just yeah you just need to be time... ready to rotate Exactly, but at the same time, like you feel like you need to do something. You, know? you need to make something happen on this map before 
you know, if, if Nigma come out of his laning phase like completely unscathed, then I think it's going to look a little awkward. Let's talk about Orkin. FPC getting very low. Stampede turns around, tries to go back in, and is going to be able to bring down Stoic with that and keep himself alive. Matthew, though, doesn't get the same luxury. The Miracle with the rotation across is able to jump in through the Twin Gates and brings down the enemy carry. That is exactly what you want to be seeing. The carry on carry kill. Yeah, very nice moving. Nipo is kind of posturing up here. The troll does have ultimates and Sankings here as well. Are they going to try and find Kuroki to start the fight? That would help with their initiation. And yeah, NC on top oh, of him. Kuro. Nice usage on the uh, self route there, but doesn't really make a difference. Kuro going to go down regardless. Yeah, Which is then uh, frees him from the earth bind, but uh, wasn't enough to keep him alive in the end. A little bit too aggressive in his positioning there, but still nice moves coming out from kind of i think all cause so far right you've got the the troll comes through the gate to kill arc the meepo comes top gets the free kill on the um on the oracle sankin then just goes back to bot lane kachow after quite a bad start is looking to go for i believe the veil first into the yeah he's got the veil so he has a quarter of the way to blink dagger and that's the point where you really want to sync up Oh, oh, he did get it. Okay. You want Blink on Sanking, Diffusal plus one on Meepo, FBZ and just keep up going. Up in top side, taking a little bit too much damage here. This urn coming out onto him, also not helping. And the right clicks will be there from reality, and that will bring him down. And we're really starting to see his urn charges tick up, just like last game for um, Samael. Reality now trying to uh, also copy the same success. But Middle Tower does fall. Rune also killed off as well, so. Here we go, so getting a lot from this middle push so far. And they're looking to turn into more as they head up to the top side. Well, Clock's gonna find them all. Yeah, I'm not sure how mad he is about that. I mean, he's kind of tanking the gang for all the heroes who are more important than themselves, so we'll be dropping as uh, GZ and Riati running to the trees, but look oh, who's waiting for the Miracle comes right the side and immediately gets on top of him. Ultimate comes through to cancel out the TP and Riati will be dropping. GZ meanwhile going for the TP out of the side, but they catch him. They have the damage as well. Kuro with the purifying flames along with the dragon tail is just enough to bring it down. The Pugna are now all dead just from one smooth rotation up from Nygma. Oust them off this part of the map with ease. Yes. The worst thing as well was Arc Warden's Midas was coming out to him as well. So not only did he have Midas off cooldown, he then had it like he's not died, respawned. He's going to walk back to Link because he had his TP. Of course, with the two charge, it's not really that much of a problem, but it's just, yeah, really not being uh, as efficient as he wants to be. He just keeps yeah. getting run down. This Twin Gate, Nigma just showcasing how good it is if the carry wants to constantly be there. You asked about it in the first game, and Miracle was demonstrating that. He does know how to use them very well. Oh, he does. In, he does. In this game. I was looking for it. And uh, yeah, absolutely rewarded. I mean, you, you have a good lane, you get some right? levels. It only makes sense to try and make that spill over. You know, it's such an important spill over. Very important mechanic in Dota. Doesn't matter if you win your damn lane. It matters if you, what you do with that victory. And Clockwork, he's been spending so much time tanking ganks and making super small players on the map that he now needs to get level 6. He's going to get it from soaking up the Sanking farm here, but... And they are minutes away from trying to make a play themselves. Kachal, 400 gold away from the Blink Dagger. Clockwork That's just hit one. level 6. And Meepo might... Uh, uh, they just double smoked. Uh-oh. It's kind of hard to do these days, right? Yeah, they used a Kura and a Hero, so... Oh, that's impressive. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh no. Oh, oh. Come on. <laughs> uh, Sometimes you just, uh, it, yeah, you just, it happens. Let's not talk about it. All right. It was, Chat it was already saw everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. FBZ doesn't really know what's up. He's got Blink though. They have Flare to cancel. Arts They're coming in and an charge. Right Look at this map. All different directions. Yep, Hookshot is in. Arc Warden's here as well. Going to give him the uh, the illusions, help out the clones, help out. They need a little bit more here. And Kuro comes in from the side. Going to throw down the Fortune 10, as well as the Fate Edict to try and help out FPZ. Now the heals start coming on through. And FPZ is going to be absolutely fine. Reality may want to be killed off by some mail on the sidelines. The kiss is coming over the top as well. It's going to be enough to bring down the Arc. Back. Oh man, a terrible, terrible attempt here from the Winter Bears. And FPZ has got all the help in the world now to work with, thanks to his captain. And they'll bring down GZ as well. 
Oh uh, man, if you're gonna go for the Centaur, you have to have more damage than that, but just couldn't pull it off. It's an incredibly awkward play. Sanking now just got his blink dagger, right? Like the fact that they used yeah. two smokes round top, semi comboed onto an illusion to then try and kill FBZ, where they would have killed him, but of course, Kuroki comes in to turn it around. He survived plenty of time for an entire TP plus you know, spell was to be used. Yeah, very desperate plays coming out from Winterbears in the second game. They are very it close to disperse the Meepo, error, but honestly. Yeah. Like... Here it Let's is, the see. blink reveal. Will they find anything more than just a Kuro? Oh, oh, oh. oh dear. Hello? Okay, alright. I'll take their consolation they got prize. Yeah. Most dog gets himself to pick up here. It does feel yeah. very uncomfortable though watching this. Like, the last three minutes have been, like, I feel like every Dota player has experienced this game, this type of game, if you're if you're on Dire, right? Like you've you felt the make a move but it doesn't connect and then you look to your other cores and they were ready to fight but they just weren't with you when you went for the fight and it's just it is a little bit messy. It is a little bit sloppy. Um, at some point though the heroes do just naturally align, right? Like me post sanking, they wanna find kills. FPZ though very quick to uh, use Stampede. Disperser yeah. is on cooldown, they connect All one net, but net. They can't go on this. It took too long. Yeah, it's too Already much. the TPs are back in, and yeah, it's getting kind of a bit spicy with it. But of course, um, you know, never bought in the other me post, so most dog always able to just get himself away when he needs to. Yeah, it's. I mean, this is like you know, this is his signature, right? Like this and his morphling is like the way Pastel likes to play. So we expected good things from him, and so far, you know, he is delivering. He's the richest hero in the game when they're getting pretty beaten pretty hard so it's very impressive yep. watching his meepo here they are they are farming but at some point you do need to translate farm into fight and then fight allows you to win a game so i do i am intrigued to know when winter bears are going to kind of attempt that of course their fight execution yeah. will be a little bit complicated their only backline jump is actually they have two forms right they've got the clock and the sand king uh, before meepo blink dagger and realistically, they need to find Kuroki every time. Because if they jump Kuroki and he pops ult, then it's already a fight lost. If they jump Troll, they're also probably losing the fight because they don't have perfect stuns after the fact. Like they've got, what, a couple stuns? They don't have any Orchids or Hexes or anything like that to complement themselves. So a full 5 on 5 fight is also awkward. But luckily, Kuroki is showing himself. He certainly has, and that's going to get him down very, very quickly. Nice stomp coming on through onto all the Meepos and the Sand King, but they'll just turn their attention towards Matthew. They've got to get this kill quick, and I think they might be able to do so. As FBZ has fallen, Burrow Strike through gets Matthew as well. Winter Bears may have just finally found themselves a fight, but Miracle, he's coming in to scoop up GZ, just wants a side kill and gets himself away. And there will be no more chase coming out from the side of Winter Bear, but the first fight in pretty much the entire series that they've been able to take looking very, very cool for the side of Winterbear. Yeah, it helps that Nygma wasn't really trying to fight, right? Like, Kuroki was looking to D-Ward. He gets shocked by their existence, gets killed off. FBZ's like, I'll save my captain. Oh, captain. And yeah, so... Yeah, for Winterbears, it was like the perfect kind of blunder from Nygma. They punish it instantly. They now need to somehow replicate this again. Of course, I already mentioned the lack of continuous control that they have it's a lot of like roots and slows and just soft stuff that they throw around i think gleipnir on arc warden will give them a little bit more confidence to take some of these fights um it will take some time to get there though as he is so kind of eh, not under farmed but it is in mode catch up like he's not in the happy i'm already at 10k net worth position that some arc warden would be in right now and Nigma, they are going to Roshan again. Pre-20 minute Roshan, they've done this twice in a row now, two games. They have scanned this out, so Clockwork Stokes in position to maybe steal this. He has Flare, only level one hookshot, but can he do this? If he can do this, oh, see the he's already wrapped to the left-hand side. From. Hey, Miracle I believe. Care. He's still going for it. He's trying to block I it. Believe. Stoic. I believe. He's going in. The hookshot. Oh, oh it's not oh. a steal. Matthew with the four star. Matthew four star him out. <laughs> I was looking. I was looking. I was trying to figure out who did it because it wasn't his oh, own. It was actually it Matthew forced him out the other side. Very very sick from the God new damn, position Matthew. from the galaxy.
<laughs> it was. Oh, I feel so bad for Stoic, but Matthew, my God, that was so good. And now, straight away, they're running it down top, continuing that yep. aggression. Yep. FPG might have blinked a bit too far. I don't know, Miracles are getting kind of low as well. The Burrow Strike's going to come through onto the two of them, and that will take an end to the Aegis. Now, what can they get for it? Stoic still has to just get himself back. Maybe Samel will run him down with the corrosion damage. It does look like everybody's going to survive for today. Oh, my God. That was very close. About 40 HP left on the clock by the end there, but he does survive. Hmm. So, All right. no, Nomad, that was like the best counter we didn't lose our Aegis into worst usage of the Aegis I've ever seen. Yep, that's true. Now the Burst Strike's going to buy a little bit of time for the Meepo, who's looking very, very low, but in comes the Mega Meepo, keeping him alive. The second chance has been granted. Kachal just trying to force them back with the Epicenter. Sure, we would have liked to get some damage in it, but the net missed, unfortunately. But still, Winter Bear, they're starting to feel it now. They're starting to believe it. is going to go down. Now the net's coming on through. It's going to land onto Matthew. Matthew may be in some trouble, but of course, you've got to be careful this Meepo. He just doesn't have much health left on his main boys. They got the troll. Matthew's troll. gonna leave as well. Now Hookshot and the Cogs coming out to Miracle. Nice save from Kuro, but ultimately, what is it gonna mean? What can you really do, Miracle, other than get off a bunch of damage while you yourself goes down? And that's exactly what will happen. Brings one hero down with them, a lowly support as Winter Bear continues to chase Name the Galaxy. They are losing this fight tremendously. Fire Strike comes through onto Kuro as well. The Oracle is going to follow his team to the grave. One hero it's left. The Winter Bears, man. they want him. The Bears smell blood. Trying to bring down some mail. Some mail trying to make it to the high ground. Easy's upon him. Arc Warden's here as well with the Manta. Should be enough to get some to safety. So it won't be the full team wipe. But my god, it was a blow <sighs> to Enigma Galaxy. I just, I, what on earth was that? Like, Enigma, they, they get the Aegis because of a clutch play from Matthew. Gold go in the way of Winter Bears. They then you know, dive deep past the tier 2 tower. Miracle doesn't get his ultimate off before the... Because he got, of course, Burrow striked into then Clockwork uh, Battery Assault and died. The fight continues, and at that point, I think Disperser plus the Pugna, they were the key MVPs of this fight. The amount of time that this Meepo used the Disperser to help kind of just disengage a hero that was under threat. GZ just with the life drains and the decreps. Just turned it around, and yeah. Nigma after comfortably farming and hitting a good stride in this game just threw away everything that they'd done so calmly and 5k lead now you, like we're nearly close to Shiva's on a Sand King like every every hero is just picking up an item basically for uh, for Dyer now What did he go for on Meepo? He's shipping out to be... Oh no, oh the no, FBZ. Yeah. I mean, this, this guy's supposed to be tanky. He might just be able to get away with it with a stampede, but Meepo nearly just 100 to zeroing the guy. What a, what a ridiculous hero. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think if you're Nygma now, you're probably Team Toolkit's guys. Hold. Reset. Okay, we just need Miracle to get, like, BKB Axe. If Troll gets BKB Axe, this game, on paper, should be, like, impossible to lose. Because after that, he then doesn't care about Decrep. He doesn't care about the the Barra Strikes of a Sand King. He gets a Swift Blink on a Nullifier, maybe, or something, or just even Swift Blink. He doesn't have positional issues. Like, they are just, like, 15,000 gold away from this Troll Warlord dictating the entire game. But if they okay. blunder, then, of course, Meepo can just put the team on his back and just run through the map. Yeah. So, well, this game got exciting. I was, I was yeah, worried it'd be a little bit really of a. Did. Yeah, I was. I, I say worried as if it was, you know, two zero isn't enjoyable for the for the fans. But I'd like to see a, a Winter Bears, you know, a little bit of a punch up, right? No, you never want to see a team just like not do anything for a series unless you've got something to do immediately afterwards. <laughs> And they're not playing with, uh, of course, Mikey, right? So a lot of Smail going to be the target. Oh. Hookshot a little bit off Any the damage? mark, but now they follow up. They've got the epicenter, but it's going to get stunned up. Smail, they want to cancel Run. that one. And the team just backed themselves away. Look at this little party <laughs> here. <laughs> Again, don't forget that this draft from Dyer is incredibly short. Like, Sanking loose to the ground. Pugna's a short hero. Like, it's... I know this is really dumb what I'm saying, but it is very funny just seeing a, a, a team of very small heroes running around. Anyways, we're in a bit of a... especially when they're all jogging across the map in a little like huddle together. Okay. It's just more like they like again. I'm a short guy. I got little stumpy legs, right? Like if I was dispersed IRL, I'd look hilarious running across a field or something, right? Those little legs speeding away. <laughs> Get me out of here. Okay.
Let's do a little update on the troll, guys. He's 400 gold away from BKB. This also feels like the type of game where I could see Kuroki going straight Blink Dagger rather than Aether Lens. Because there's always going to be some type of way to find him through Rocket Flare. So it's less about having the cast range, but more about the position to get the ult off. Like if he can combo break any spell of Dire, the fight should go their way, right? I think Winter Bears have been winning because they've hit a Burrow Strike into them. Oh, wait, they also died because they just stood inside Sandstorm or they've lost all their resources. So I do think that this could be the type of game that Kuroki could uh, go for that build. And Winter Bears, they are smoked up. Shiva's is complete. Uh, on the sanking blink dagger complete on the meepo we have smoke on smoke action meepo just walking into the high ground dude he's i mean how did he not get blown up here and instead it's a troll who's taking all the damage but of course there's the ultimate coming out from kuro that allows him to get up his own ult but a miracle as he's Mega able meepo. to tear one here but no the dig comes out buying him some space Mega Meepo down as well just to buy him as much time as possible miracle does not have a target he's being kited to the end of the app and now he comes out of the ultimate surrounded by meepos and a sand king and now they peck away at him bit by bit miracle will fall three dead on nigma once again oh winter bears they've done it before can they do it again can they take a game off nigma galaxy right now they are looking very very good Oh, it's happening, Nomad, right? You got smoke on smoke action. Both teams go in, and somehow the team that's in the river, in the low ground, the Meepo blinks in, gets the initiation, and the troll, he locks onto the Meepo, but they aren't able to stun up the main Meepo. They aren't able to prevent no. the Mega Meepo, and they just keep that's going. The problem. You have to control the Mega Meepo. You can't let him get away with it. You, know? you have to no. help the troll get the clicks off, right? Like, this Meepo, yeah. one of them went to half HP. Like, if you just prevent that main Meepo doing his, his, his busted spell, then... The fight could be very different, but yeah, incredibly awkward fight for them. And, and it's only going to get worse for now, right? Like, Arc Warden, he's just got the Gleipnir as well for that fight. So additional control. He's going to maybe look for a four stuff. Yeah, this is a little bit spooky uh, for Nigma. Like they're, they're still in kind of like farm mode, right? Like Miracle still wants to buy his Aghanims. Sumail wants his axe as well, so then you get the upgraded uh, dragon form to help with the kite, with the tankiness, but... Yeah. Will Winter Bears give them another 5k worth of gold of breathing room? Well, of course, it's like 4k gold, but, you know, let's add an extra thousand gold for fun. The Roshan is, of course, going to be the uh, the next big... Oh, and that's a short timer indeed. That's a very short timer, about 10 seconds. And Rosh respawns. Taking this tower, of course, men are going to make things much, much easier. I mean, what is the best way to find the main Meepos? Just by clicking on them? Yes. Yeah, I was going to say yes. <laughs> that is the answer. You just click and find the one with the items, and then you stun him. And then he doesn't get me Mega Meepo. It's the only way to do it. Disperser, such a good item as well. Especially for me, bro. It allows him to uh, get a bit of mobility, which he was uh, otherwise missing. And now Roshan is up. Now it does give the roar, because of course it was the clockwork which blew up, which blew up Roshan last time. So, you know, it's, it's, it's going to let them know. But there's nothing they can do about it. And now an Aegis on the Meepo as well. Good God. Cheese on the Sand King. Those two frontliners are looking very, very beefy indeed. You need to find a way to get your troll onto the back. You need to find a way for the troll to take out like this Arc Ward or something. Who, by the way, we haven't just hadn't talked about at all. Like reality yeah. is literally an afterthought in this game for us, and probably for everybody it's, else as well. To be fair, it's because he hasn't. He's just been. He what, died a lot in the early game. He had what three, four deaths to Miracle's rotation. He hasn't been at the front of the engagements. He's just been super far back. It has been the Meepo show. I think also Kachow after a disastrous start, dying three times in laning phase has played exceptionally well with his initiations and yeah they've oh, they've yeah. hit this skirmishing stride with ease it feels like and the kite will also get easier i think for winter bears once kachal gets to like uh, agonims like, of course with the little mini barrow strikes that appear in sandstorm if you don't have bkbs in play you are just gonna get you know awkwardly controlled up meepo just hugs it as well it's gonna be a lot of just aoe nuisance damage and matthew walking up into the meepo yeah, I'm surprised he's gotten away with this. Ah, uh, never mind. Chai oh, catches them on the way out. 
uh, you know, my guy had dreams of getting a Wisdom Rune, and unfortunately yeah. he's not going to be achieving them anymore as he gets brought down. And actually, FPZ might be another one caught out here as he yields that onto him with those cogs pushing him back into the meat post, who just peck away at him like a horde of angry pigeons. There is that ultimate coming out from Kuro, but will it be enough to save FPZ? I think it should be. The heals are out thick and fast, and he will survive. But just because the heroes are alive doesn't mean your base is. The Meepo's on the high ground pecking away, and now the tower. It's the mail. Has the really Orchid, do. right? So they have a way to deal with the uh, the Mega Meepo, but finding it in the fight, it, got, it is not easy. Click good. Yeah. Like, from, from like a viewer perspective, you're like, okay, sure, they've found the answer, but it's not that easy. And they jump onto DK as well. Yeah, a bit of damage coming through on Tim. He's pretty chill, but at the same time, he's had to back away from the defense, which means the barracks are now left wide open. FBZ comes in. Now the kiss is coming through. Of course, Mega Meepo got to come down here again. And most dog will get himself away. Also, he bought Orchid when he already had Disperser on Meepo. Yeah. So he can just get rid of it really instantly. Yeah. 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 Not the best Orchid pickup in that regard, but I feel like this Orchid will have other uses where he can stop the Pugna from life draining, for example, or he can, I guess, stop the... And it's going to be, I think, relatively low impact, but there could be a moment that one fight, the item does shine. I do think Aghanims could have been better, um, just for the fact that Dire are so tanky, so match their tankiness with your tankiness and hope that Troll can get his way to an item, but alas, this didn't happen. Enigma are in a very difficult position now. Yeah, they certainly are. I don't think they have the answers, honestly. I'm wondering what they can do about Pastille just here on his Meepo. Up on the high ground, I mean, okay, yeah, you got some nice AoE, you got a couple of stuns, but ultimately he just doesn't care. He's got so many get out of jail free cards and an Aegis nonetheless. They want these barracks and they're going to get them. Winterbet. They find a big step forward in this game. They don't even get the clone. No, a timed out. Yeah. It, this kind of feels like how Nigma should have been potentially playing, right? Like when they got that first Aegis, if they just took a step back for a brief second, farmed that key item, and then made the aggressive plays, this game would, in theory, be very different, right? Like this Arc Warden had just got to a Midas at like the minute 16 or something, 17. It was super late. Everything was very disjointed from Dyer, but yeah, Nigma got a little bit too carried away with what they wanted to do, and now a second Disperser comes out. Now the Arc Warden has his own Dispel. An ability to just disengage the fight. Dude, it's... Are they really gonna lose again? I mean, of course. Winter I mean, you're, you're playing into a very exceptional Meepo player with whose variety has teamed up into him, and yeah, Nick would just, just don't have the execution this time around, so this game very easily could be a loss for them. Here we go, nice catches coming out from Winter Bears over in the bottom side. Some mail caught very far from base. Whoa, Cog's just zipping him down to the low ground, kind of helping him out a little bit, but they managed to take down Kuro. That means no saves coming out. That means the DK, he just toast as well. Some mail is gone, two heroes dead. Most dog wanted, keeps the chase going. Pastille on top of the snap fire, brings that down, moving across towards the bigger target. In fact, fuck the snap fire, we want the troll, and they get him. Be GG. Miracle they is just gone. Oh my goodness. It's just the aggression. It's just the Meepo. Yeah. It, it is just the Pastille show. They get mm -hmm. their player back. He had to sleep in because he was getting ready for this performance, which he's putting on now. Meepo's getting banned in game three. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. like, they forgot to ban it in this uh, second game, and now they have heavily regret it. Hindsight will be Nigma's best friend GG. in this post-game analysis. Yep, oh, GG. Dear. I mean, that's it. The main creeps come through. And game number two, it goes the way off Winter Bears. Yeah, an, an incredible uh, game from the Meepo. I think, again, Kachal does res deserve...